Welcome back to my channel. It's Tammy from Green Tea Design Co. I'm going to do a craft with me today. So um, we're going to make the little envelopes that I like to make with the little tiny wax seals. And I'm trying something new. I'm going to try to make some uh, shaker envelopes using some scraps of my um, acetate that I make. And we're going to use this, this one right here. I love that. I think it's so pretty. And I made a cute little shaker mix to, that matches it. Let me see that. So I'm going to add that. And, um, and we're going to make a couple paper ones using the uh, scraps for, left over from my Prima Lavender. So I need one more of these. These are my dies and I got them at um, AliExpress and I will link them down below if I can find them. So this is what, oh, there it is. I wondered where that was. So here is my last one. I thought I cut out four, but I couldn't find the last one and there it is still in my die. So here is the envelope and this makes a little letter that you can like stick in the envelope but um, we're not going to use this one so we're just going to use the envelope so I just used my little Sizzix and I ran it through and now I don't have to do that so let's get rid of this make some more space on my desk oh, there we go suction sticking to my glass mat there let's put these over here Alrighty, okay. So, I have all these made already, just so that um, the video doesn't take too long. But I'll quick show you how to fold these. So these, I don't know if you can see, there you go, you can see that um, it also scores them. So we're gonna, just going to fold along the scores. And um, here's, I just did a vellum piece of the, you can see that, that, so I'll show you how that fits in there, but um, in the envelope, but we're not going to use that. So I just cut one out just to see if it would cut that, out, how, how it would cut that acetate. So we're just going to burnish these edges and we're going to glue. We're going to glue down these flaps. Use my little clippies here. These are little sewing clips. So now if you have, if you want to leave it open, you can put the little envelope here or the little paper that goes with it. Um, it will slide right in. And it it'll goes goes all the way up to like I don't know if you can see because it it's vellum or it's a uh, acetate, but like that. And it is really cute. But we're going to do something different today, so we're not going to use that one. So what we are going to do, and I am going to just grab over here a minute and cut some ribbon. See if I can reach. All right, I grabbed a little thin ribbon, and this is just light pink, and you only just need just a little pieces of it. And we're gonna make just like those little, um, let's save those. Those like little um, cause ribbons kind of. So I'm just going to fold it in half. So I'm just going to make a little ribbon like this. You see that? Okay. So first I'm going to close this envelope. Alrighty. And our glitter glue closes, dries pretty fast, so... Burnish that down. 
close my glue up. All right, now we're going to take our little ribbon and fold it in half. I'm going to put a little hot glue dot right in the center there. And then I'm going to just poke that down in there, in that glue. So then that's what it, look, what it looks like. And I will do that to all of them. Here, let me see. There, my light a little bit better. Sorry, shaking. Let's try to get some light on that. So we're going to do that to all of them. And while that's doing that, we're going to heat up our wax. And I am going to use for this lavender one, I'm going to use um, this purple wax. And you don't need a lot because um, what we're going to use is we're going to use this rose. And we only want to use this little teeny part right in here of the rose. So we're going to try to get that to stamp in the wax. So we don't need a lot of wax. So I'm going to put this in my little wax heater and heat it up on my candle. And I'll have that linked below. I got that at Amazon. So while that is heating up, we will fold the rest of these. I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun. Oh, I did this one upside down. All right. Glue the top of them, fold down. Got glue strings everywhere. Let's see, is that melted yet? Not yet. All right. I hope everybody's doing well while you're in quarantine here. I've been getting a lot of crafting done. Actually, um, I haven't crafted a lot lately. I've been making masks. My son is home from college and I taught him how to sew. And so him and I have been making masks for um, a friend of mine in Detroit and also um, some family and friends here locally. So, oh, all right. Clean, make sure my glass mat is clean here. All right, just a little bit more. Let's move this over so you can kind of see it. It is heating up. It's getting there almost. I maybe should have did both of those. All right, so now I'm going to get my wax paper. And the wax paper just it just makes it easier to pick up the wax when it's dry. Glue everywhere. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of this wax. All right. Now we're gonna heat that next one up. Now we're gonna take our stamp, find that part that we want to get in the middle and try to set it down. So then you just let it sit there for a minute. And while that happens, we're going to do a couple more of these ribbons, finish the ribbons up on, on our envelopes here. Clean up my glue strands. All right, we're gonna have one upside down envelope, but that's okay. All 
Once we decorate it, nobody will ever know. Last one. Add our little ribbon. And there we go. So now we got all four of our little envelope embellishments with our ribbon. All right. Let's peel this wax off. You kind of see we'll trim that around it so there's one and it's little one all right let's try to get that again that one's gonna be a little bit big but that's okay we can trim it down and that's what I do I just Usually we'll trim them down. We'll add one more. Oh. One more purple melt it. Alright, so I take the part I like and then I just trim around the design where I want it to go. Because you don't want them real big because our envelopes are tiny. So... I just trim around them and then you have a little rose and then you can put this back to remelt always save your wax I'll just put all that back in my little container over here this whoop sorry this little container over here and um, remelt it when I need to use it again all right let's see let's see that one how that one turned out. There. Alright, we're just going to trim around the part we want. Since I only want a little small seal for that, for these envelopes. Make it a little bit smaller so we can melt that wax down, and then we'll do the next one. All right, it's almost melted. It's not quite a little bit. So then, what do I? Uh, what I do here then is I just put a little hot glue and put the seal right on top. So that's what it looks like. And I think they just make the cutest little embellishments. They're so darn cute. Glue strings. Let's do this one. And this is a low temp glue gun. If you use a high temp, it might melt the wax. So um, let it dry for like a second before you put the, the wax seal on. They're so darn cute. All right, let's... Mm -hmm. Let me see, find the middle part. All right, let that one go. And then, uh, I just think these are oh, so cute. I love this Prima paper. It is one of my favorite, their lavender collection. All right. And do the last one. And this one's going to be a big one, so we'll have to trim that one down. And then I just turn that upside down so that it drains as much as it can. 
And then I'll grab a baby wipe. And I'll just clean out this bowl. It's very hot, so you gotta be careful. But I just clean out the color from the bowl, the wet that wax color from the bowl. Alright. And then we'll go on to the next one, but let's trim this one first. Alrighty. And this one, I said, is going to be a big one. Peel up this other wax. So all this wax right here, <coughs> excuse me, will go back into my little wax kit and you can just remelt it and use it again so let's get this around here all right i just like to cut it in a little bit smaller pieces there now we'll just save all this back in with my purple and we can use that the next time. All right, let's put this one on here. And use a little dab of hot glue. Add our seal. And our last one. Little dab of hot glue. And our seal. So, whoop, get all these strings. So there we have our four little mini envelope embellishments. They're so stinking cute. All right. The next thing we're going to make, and this is the first time I've made these, so I'm going to try them. I made these same little envelopes out of the acetate. I had some acetate scraps and then I uh, made little like little shaker envelopes out of them. And then I close them up with um, glossy accents as glue. And this is what they turned out. They turned out really cute. So we're going to try to do the same thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll tr give it the old college try. So let's add a little ribbon. our little ribbon, add it to the center, all right, now what color should we use? These have like, um, I don't know if you can see this, like reds and yellows and pinks. Should we try a red? Do I have, yeah, I have a red. Just, oh glue strand. Let's try the red. We used a pink ribbon. So let's try the red. We'll melt a wet red wax. Ooh, let's say that fast. Red wax. So let's finish the rest of these. Clips out of the way here. We'll add some more of this little ribbon. I'm going to move it up a little bit this time. All right. There. Make our little ribbon. Add it to our envelope. Oh, those are so darn cute. You see? All right. Let's see. Let's try these. Alright. 
right, and last one. And I just did these envelopes the same way I did the paper one. Just cut them out and uh, fold them on the score lines. And then I glued them shut with glossy accents. Because acetate is hard to glue. So um, if you use glossy accents and then the clips, that works pretty good. All right, looks like our thing is ready. That red turned out a little bit darker. And that in there, let's see. Find our little rose that we want to use and let that sit for a second. While our other one heats up, get rid of our glue strands. <sighs> All right. Oh, that one looks like it's melting a little bit faster. I think it's almost. Let's get this one ready. All right. Ooh, that one turned out cute. Can you see that? So that one's ready. Alright. Stamp that one. Now let's trim this one up. the rest of this wax back in the little bowl so that we can make another seal. All right, there's our first one. Put that back in there, let it melt. Do the same thing to this one. Ooh, that one turned out really good. Let's cut that one out. wax back in to let it melt down. And we'll start gluing these on. And those are so pretty. Blue strands are everywhere. There's that one. Okay, let's try and see if we can get another one out of here. That one set. That one might have got off the side a little bit. I'll do one more red one so that we don't have to wait. Let that heat. These look so cute. Look at these. And these are little, you can see from this side. cute little shakers you could do them I think with just clear too or just vellum won't they be cute with just vellum very cute and I got I got almost all the sequins from uh, Cartwright sequins I just got a big order in from them that video should be posted they had a really good coupon code. I think it's from um, the Paper Treasury. Um, I saw it from Aha Miss 
Susan Tootsie Tucker did. And um, so I ordered a whole bunch of sequins because I didn't have very many. So I really actually went overboard, but um, I needed some sequins. So I got all different colors and all different styles. And I, I don't remember how much off the coupon is. Is it 20 or 25%? It was a good sale, so I splurged. Because um, I gave up buying craft supplies for Lent, although I wasn't very good about that. But it did better than I normally do. <laughs> so, um, since it was Easter, I went and bought a bunch of sequins. All right, let's glue this next one on. that one and we're gonna wait for this last one and that one turned out cute too all right let's trim these down all right let's do our last one So cute. All right, I'm gonna put these back in with the red, and I will have to reheat that and clean that one up a minute. Let's get that out of the way. Get this up out of the way here. So let's see what we have. Let's... All right, we've got. These cute little acetate ones, and again, I'll show you what that. Uh, maybe I will. The acetate looked like. This is the acetate we used for those. So those turned out really cute, and used the red wax for the red wax seal, and then these were. Um, some lavender, Prima paper from lavender, or lavender Prima paper. <laughs> and we use the purple wax. Thank you all. We'll see you on the next crafty video.